Do you know the fastest Rubik's Cube was solved in 3.47 seconds? That's faster than you can say, wow. I wish I could do that. But even if we can't solve that fast, we can at least solve it. With my fast and easy step-by-step -step technique, I guarantee that you will solve your first Rubik's Cube by the end of this video. So let's get started. I'm going to cover this cube with black stickers so you can just see the parts I want to show you. So in each step, I'm going to reveal some stickers so you can just see the parts we're solving in that step. Step zero, holding the cube. I'm going to hold the cube so yellow is on the top and white is on the bottom. So as you can see, yellow on the top, white on the bottom just like this. You might think that this step is very simple, but you must always remember to keep the yellow on the top and white on the bottom and never switch it. All the following steps are explained assuming you've held yellow on the top and white on the bottom. Before you start, please note that in your cube, you might have different combinations than what I have in my cube. So I'm going to give you an example for each combination in every step of what yours might be. So before you start a step, make sure to watch the whole step and see what possible combinations your cube could have. Then follow along with which combination your cube has. Step 1. First white on top. So the goal of this step is to bring this white sticker on my right hand side over here. It doesn't matter which color is over here, just this white sticker on my right hand side. So we are going to look at 6 places where this white sticker can be. Place 1. Place 2. Place 3. Place 4. Place 5 at the bottom and place 6. So if the sticker is on place 1, you're done. You can move on to step 2. If the sticker is on place 2, first you need to bring the sticker over here, then over here, then finally over here to place 1. This is how you do it. Watch carefully. First you do this, then this, move the two layers this time, and then finally bring it up top. If the sticker is at place 3, just move it like this and you're done. If the sticker is on place 4, move it twice like this and then do the same thing as we did earlier. This and bring it up top. Now if the sticker were on place 5, then rotate it twice so it comes on the top. If the sticker is on place 6, then rotate it once and do as we did earlier, like this, and then bring it up top. Now we're done and ready to move on to step 2. If you cannot see the white sticker in any of the 6 places, keep rotating the bottom 2 layers until you find it. In this case, I found the sticker on place 3, so I'm just going to rotate it and it comes up top. In this case, I found it on place 4, so I'm going to turn it twice and then do as we did earlier. In this case, I found it on 5, so I'm going to rotate it two times so it comes on the top. So this time it's on place 6. So I'm going to rotate it like this and then do as we did earlier. Like this. By the end of step 1, your cube should be looking like this. Step 2. Second white on top. At the beginning of the step, rotate the cube like this. The goal of the step is to bring a white sticker over here. 
As before, there can be six places where this white sticker can go in. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We are going to use the exact same steps we used before to bring the white sticker over here. The way we solved in the previous steps ensures that this white sticker will not move while we're solving. Let me show you an example. If it's over here in place 3, then I just need to move it up without this sticker getting disturbed. If it was here in place 2, we would do this, this, and this, and this sticker would not move. And if it were on place 5, we would move this, and again, it would not get disturbed. If you cannot find the second white sticker in any of the six spots, then you can do the same rotation and get it back to its place. Now you can solve it. By the end of step two, your cube should look like this. Step three, third white sticker on top. At the beginning of the step, rotate the cube like this. The goal of this step is to bring a white sticker right over here. Just like the first two steps, we're going to look at six positions the white sticker can be in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say you found the third white sticker in place four. Then you would solve it just like before. Let's say you can't see it in any of the six spots. Then you would rotate until you see it and then solve it. By the end of step three, your cube should look like this. Step four, fourth white on top. At the beginning of the step, rotate the cube like this. The goal of the step is to bring the white sticker over here. Let's say the fourth white sticker was over here at place two. So we rotate the cube like this, turn it over here, and bring it up. Let's say we can't find the fourth white sticker in any of the six places. So we need to rotate the two layers until we find the sticker and it's on the fifth place. So we turn it twice. At the end of the fourth step, you should see a white cross with a yellow center and beneath should be a white center. Step five, the first white at bottom. In this step, we need to bring this white piece on the bottom over here. Since we can't have a white cross without a white center, we need to bring all four of these down. Let's start by this one. But we cannot bring this piece down randomly. We need to bring it down according to its colors. Let me reveal some more stickers so you can understand better. So I took out this. This is a white blue piece. That means it must be lined up with a blue center. Let me reveal all the centers so you can see. As you can see, this white blue piece is aligned with the green center. So let's keep rotating until we can see if it's aligned with the blue center. Once and twice. So now it's aligned. Now we can turn it two times and it's with the white. All, so now all four of these pieces are aligned. So by the end of step five, this is how your cube should look like. It doesn't matter what's behind the black stickers, just the pieces I revealed. Step 6. Second white sticker at the bottom. For this step, you need to rotate it so it comes like this. Now we're going to do the same thing, but first let me reveal which color, which color this white sticker is with. As you can see, this is already matching, so I can just flip it down. Now we are two steps away from 
the white cross. If it was not matching, for example, like this, then I would keep rotating until it matches. Then I would flip it down. By the end of step six, your cube should be looking like this. Step seven. For step seven, rotate your cube like this. Now, let's see what type of piece this is. So this is a white orange piece and it does not match with green. So we are going to keep rotating until it matches like this. Now I'm going to flip it down. By the end of step seven, there is one sticker left on top and three stickers aligned on the bottom. For step eight, rotate your cube like this. Now let's see what type of piece this is. It's a white green piece. So we need to rotate it until it becomes green in the center too, like this. Now we are going to flip it. At the end of step 8, your cube should look like this. No white pieces on the top and on the bottom there's a cross. And all the colors of the cross are aligned with their centers correctly. Step 9. First corner on bottom. So the goal of this step is to place one white corner correctly over here. So there should be a green on this face, orange on this face, and white on this face. Like this. So as you can see, there is a green over here, orange over here, and white over here, just like its face. This piece could be in any of these eight positions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right now, it's in the solved position, position one. But even in this correct position, it could be unsolved like this or like this. In both of these ways, the phases are not in the correct place. The white should be here, the orange should be here, the green should be here. If it's not already correctly solved, our first goal is to get the piece over here. Before I teach you how to bring the corner over here, I'm going to teach you a special move. I'm going to call this move the magic move, and it can solve anything. Let me show you the magic move. To do this move, you need to hold exactly the way I'm holding. First, take your thumb and put it over these four squares. Then, take these two fingers, these two, right behind them, you put these two fingers on the four squares. So it should be like this. On these four pieces, one thumb. On the back four pieces, these two fingers. With your other hand, put these two fingers over here. And put your thumb on the bottom piece here. The magic move is four steps. Step one. Turn your cube forward like this. Step two, take your index finger and turn the top layer to your left like this. Step three, do the opposite of what you did in the first step. Bring it back here. And then step four, take your left hand's index finger and turn it back over here. Just like that. Let me show you again. So step one, turn it forward. Step two, turn it left with your index. Step three, turn it back. Step four, turn it right with your other index. So if you do it fast, it would look like this. And you can get faster and faster. So if the corner is in place one over here, then we keep doing the magic move until it is solved. You need to keep checking if it is solved, and it, soon it'll be like this. If the corner is in place two, you do the same thing. You keep doing the magic move until it is solved.
just like this. If the corner was on any of the other three places on the top, like this, this, and this, then you keep rotating the top layer of the cube until it reaches. And you can see if it's the correct place because it'll have the two colors, orange and green, and white. Now, you keep doing the magic move until it is solved. If the corner is not over here or in the top layer, it might be somewhere in the bottom layer. But in this example, the corner is over here between red and blue, where it's supposed to be over here. So I'm going to turn the cube to where the piece is stuck. Then I'm going to do the magic move to take it out. Doing the magic move once will get this piece out in the top layer like this. Now we can turn this around and get it to our correct position. Then we use the magic move back to insert it back in. Like, just like this. In the end of step 9, your cube should look like this. There's a yellow on the top, a cross on the bottom, and one corner correctly inserted. Step 10, second corner in the bottom layer. For this step, we are going to rotate the cube like this. Now we need to solve for this corner. It's going to be orange, blue, and white. We are going to use the same steps we used before in the previous step. If the corner was in the correct position but the colors weren't matching, like the orange should be here, the white should be here, and the blue should be here. To do, solve that, do the magic move. Keep doing it until you see the corners are solved, like this. If your corner is in place 2, keep doing the magic move until it's solved. Like this. If the corner is in any of the top layer, you can turn and bring it back and then just keep doing the magic move. There we go. Like this. Instead of here, if the corner was like over here, then do the magic move once and then keep turning it until it reaches its position and then do the magic move like this at the end of your step you should have two white corners and a white cross just like this step 11 to start step 11 rotate your cube like this the goal the goal of this step is to add a corner here which is blue on this face red on this face and white on this face just like this If the corner is in the correct place, but the colors are not aligned, keep doing the magic move until they are. Just like this. If the corner is in place too, then also keep doing the magic move until it's correctly placed and the colors are matching. just like this if the corner is not in place one or place two and in the top layer keep turning until it comes to the place two then keep doing the magic move until it's correctly positioned if the corner is not in the top layer or in these two positions they might be it might be in any other place like this to get it back to the correct position do the magic move once and then keep turning until it reaches the right place place two and then you do the magic move until it gets there just like that at the end of step 11 you should have three corners a white cross and it should be looking like this Step 
12, fourth corner in the bottom layer. For this step, we need to rotate our cube like this. So the goal of the step is to get a corner piece, which is red on this face, green on this face, and white on this face, just like this. So as you can see, red, green, and white. It can also be in the right place, but the colors are not matching. There should be a red here, and a green here, and a white here. So if that's the situation, keep doing the magic move. until it is soft. It can also be up here in place too. If that's the situation, also keep doing the magic move until the corner is soft. Just like this. And as we discussed before, if it's somewhere else in the top layer, keep rotating and then do the magic move. And it's soft. The cool thing about this step is it cannot be stuck in any of the other bottom layer corners because there are already pieces in that place. So you can just either be on the top layer or over here. So that's easy. So at the end of step 12, your cube should look like this. This face is completely complete. And then the side should look like this. Hope you're still with me, we're halfway there. Step 13, first edge in the middle layer. Uh, hold the cube like this. The goal of this step is to get an edge over here in which on this face is green and this face is orange, just like this. So green over here, orange over here. This edge can be in any of these following eight locations. One, two, three, four, or five, six, seven, or eight. First, let me teach you how to solve this if it's in positions one, two, three, or four. If the piece is in the top layer, keep rotating until it reaches place one over here. Before we begin solving, we need to ensure that the color over here matches whatever color is in the center of this face. For example, the color over on this face is orange and it's matching. By the way, if you bring the piece to the first place and the colors are not matching like this, then do this quick trick called front magic. In front magic, we are going to do our magic move in the front. Let me show you how. Watch carefully. First, I'm going to rotate the top layer like this so the colors with the piece are matching. Now, we're going to do the front magic. Remember, turning the top layer is not part of the front magic. The front magic are only the three steps written in the chart. So I'm going to turn the front layer to the side like this and now I'm going to do the magic move and I'm going to rotate the front layer back and here it comes and now it is matching. Let me show you one more time. So you turn it over here so the colors are matching then you turn it to the side, do the magic move and turn it back. Just like that. Now let me teach you how to take this piece once the colors are matched and correctly insert it right over here. There are four parts to correctly inserting this piece over here. Part one. As you can see, the colors are already matching over here. So now I'm going to turn this piece so it comes over here to the back. Part two. Now I'm going to do the magic move twice just like this one and two as you can see the piece came back over here where it's matching part three as you can see this piece came back with the colors matching now we're going to do the same thing as before and take this 
top layer and make the piece go back like this. Part 4. Now we are going to do the magic move four times, just like this. One, two, three, and four. As you can see, now both of these pieces are correctly inserted. So let me do a quick recap. There are four parts. Part one, turn it back. Part two, do the magic move twice. Part three, part three, same as part one, move the piece back. Part four, do the magic move four times. One, two, three, and four. And that's how you get it correctly inserted. I've taught you how to get the uh, I've taught you how to insert the piece here if it's in positions one, two, three, or four. So now let me tell you how to solve if it's in one of positions five, six, seven, or eight. In this example, it's over here in place six. So we need to do the same four parts we did to solve to get this piece out in the top layer. Part one, turn it back. It doesn't make a difference, but just to be consistent. Part two, do the magic move twice. One, two. Part three, turn it back once. So we're going to do the magic move four times for part four. One, two, three, and four. Now this is all solved and it's over here. Now we know how to get this piece correctly fixed in here. If your piece is on the right side and the colors don't match, then do the front magic as I explained before and then continue with these steps. So let's do it. Part one, turn it back. Part two, do the magic move twice. Part three, turn it back again. And part four, do the magic move four times. One, two, three, and four. And that's how we get it soft. We can use the same trick if the piece is in its correct place but the colors are not matching. So first we do the four part move to take it out. Then we do the four part move to put it back. Just like this. One, two, three, and four. Just like this. Now we can spin it around and just check if the colors are matching, which they are not. So now we're going to do the front magic to get the colors matching, like this. We turn it over here, turn it to the side, do the magic move, turn it back. Now the colors are matching and we can do the four part move again to put it back correctly. Like this. First we turn it around, do the magic move twice, turn it again, do the magic move four times. One, two, three, and four. And it's all correctly solved. By the end of step 13, your cube should look like this. The white face should be fully complete and your first edge should be inserted. Step 14, second edge in middle layer. For this step, you need to turn your cube like this. The goal of this step is to get a piece here with orange on this face and blue on this face, like this. Just like step 13, this piece can either be in the top layer over here, or it can be over one, two, or three but it can't be over here because we already inserted that piece. If it's in the top layer, we're going to do the same four part move we did earlier, like this. Part one, turn it back. Part two, do the magic move twice. Part three, turn it back again. Part four, do the magic move four times. One, two, three, and four. That's how you get it inserted. Now let me tell you how to do it if it's in somewhere else in the middle layer. In this case, it's over here. 
So first we need to do the four part move to get it out. Then we need to do the four part move to do insert it again. Like this. Part one. Part two. Part three. Part four. Now we got it out over here. So we turn it and see if it matches on my right hand side and it does. So now we can do the four part move again to insert it here. Like this. Part one. Part two. Part three. And part four. Just like that. And it's inserted. By the end of step 14, your cube should be looking like this. It should have the whole white face complete and two corners inserted in the middle layer. Step 15. Third edge in the middle layer. For this step, we need to turn our cube like this. The goal of this step is to find an edge which is blue over here and red over here. Like this. Just like the previous step, it can be in the top layer, one, two, three, four, or it can be in the other two places, one, two. Let's say the edge is over here, but it's not matching. This is what you do. So you turn the piece over here, turn the front layer to the side, and then you do the magic move and turn the front layer back, just like this. Now it will be matching. Th then you do the four part move. One, two, three, and four. Just like this. At the end of step 15, your cube should be looking like this. The white face should be done and there should be three edges. One, two, and three. Step 16, fourth edge in the middle there. For this step, turn your cube like this. The goal of this step is to add an edge over here, which is red on this side and green on this side, like this. This piece can either be in the top layer, one, two, three, four, or it can be over here with its colors not matching. Let me show you when the colors are not matching. First, we're going to do the four part move to get it out. Then we're going to do the same four part move to get it back in correctly inserted. Just like this. Part one, turn it back. Part two, do the magic move twice. One and two. Part three, turn it back again. Part four, do the magic move four times. One, two, three, and four. Now we got it out. Turn it back like this and as you can see the colors are not matching. So we need to do front magic. Turn it to the side like this. Turn the front layer to the side. Then do the magic move once. Turn the front layer back. Now the colors are matching and we can do the same four part move again. Turn the top layer so the piece is at the back. Do the magic move twice. One, two, part three. Turn it back again. Part four. Do the magic move four times. One, two, three, and four. By the end of step 16, your cube should be looking like this. The white face should be done and the two bottom layers should be solved. We are only one layer to go. Step 17, top yellow cross. Just as we did the white cross on the bottom before, we're going to do the yellow cross on the top now. The goal of this step is to bring four pieces over here, which form the yellow cross. It doesn't matter what the side colors look like. We just need the top yellow four pieces. In the end, it'll look like this. When you reach the step and you don't have a yellow cross, you will see one of the three following patterns. 
The first pattern you may see is a line. When you are holding the cube with a line, make sure never to hold it when it's vertical. You need to make sure you see it horizontal, like this. To make a cross out of a line, you are just going to do the front magic as we learned before. Let me show you. So, first you tilt the front to the side, like this. Then you do the magic move. Then you tilt it back. As you can see, now we have a cross. The second pattern you may see is an L. Make sure when you're holding the L, it should be like this. To make the L into a cross, we'll do the front magic two times, like this. After we did the front magic once, it became a line. Now we do it a second time. And now it becomes a cross. The third pattern you may see is just the center. If you have just the center, you can hold it from any direction you want. To make this center into a cross, we need to do the front magic three times, like this. Once, and it becomes an L. And remember, we need to hold it like this. Twice, and it becomes a line. Three times, and it becomes a cross. At the end of step 17, you should have the white face complete the second layers all done and a yellow cross step 18 yellow corners on top the goal of this step is to get four yellow corners on top doesn't matter what the other colors look like in the end it'll look like this once you reach this step you need to carefully see on the top how many yellow corners there are and count them you can either have zero corners, one corner, two corners, or four corners. In this case, there are four corners. One, two, three, and four. If you have a cube looking like this, then you are good to go. If there are zero corners on the top, your cube will look like this. If there's only one yellow corner on the top, your cube will look like this. The other three corners will be something else. By the way, you're just looking at the top. It doesn't matter what the other color is on the side. This is the case where there are two yellow corners on the top. The other two corners will not be yellow in this case. Before we can put all four corners at the top, we need to hold the cube correctly. To explain that better, I've covered the top in black and put on some stickers. We need to pay close attention to this corner piece over here on my left. It has three sides. If there are zero yellow corners on the top, you need to hold the cube so that there's at least one yellow sticker on your left side over here, where there is a zero. If there's only one yellow sticker on the top, you need to turn the cube so that the one yellow sticker comes over here. If there are two yellow corners on the top, you need to make sure there's at least one yellow sticker over here. If there are zero yellow corners, then at least one sticker must be over here. If there's one yellow corner, then the yellow corner sticker must be over here. If there are two yellow corners, then one sticker must be over here. Let me show you a few examples. As you can see, there are zero yellow corners on the top. Remember, when there are zero, there should be a yellow sticker over here. So I'm going to keep rotating until I see one. So over here, there's no yellow sticker. Let me rotate one more time. See, there's a yellow sticker over here. So we can move on. In this example, there is one yellow corner. So I'm going to make sure that yellow corner is over here, like this. Now you can see there are two yellow corners. I need to make sure there's at least one yellow sticker over here. So I'm going to keep rotating and here it is. 
So now I can move on. Once you know how to hold the cube correctly, now I'm going to teach you in five steps how to get all the corners on the top. In this example, we already have one corner, so we're going to keep it over here. Step one, do the magic move. Step two, rotate the top layer twice. Step three, move the rightmost layer forward. Step four, Rotate the top layer two times again. Step five, rotate the rightmost layer back. And there we have it. This time we have zero yellow corners. So we need to apply the five steps multiple times. But each time we need to ensure that we're holding the cube correctly as learned before. So since there are zero corners, I'm going to rotate the cube until there's a yellow sticker on my left side. Now I'm going to do the five steps. Step one, do the magic move. Step two, rotate the top layer twice. Step three, turn the right layer forward. Step four, rotate the top layer twice again. Step five, rotate the right layer backward. Now we have one corner, so I'm going to hold it like this. The corner is up here. Now we're going to do the five steps again. Step one, do the magic move. Step two, rotate the top layer two times. Step three, rotate the right layer forward. Step four, rotate the top layer two times. Step five, rotate the right layer back. And now we have the top solved. Now, as you can see, there are two corners. So I'm going to hold it. So there's one corner in front. Now let me do the five steps. Step one, magic move. Step two, rotate the top layer twice. Step three, rotate the right layer forward. Step four, rotate the top layer twice again. Ro step five, rotate the right layer backwards. And now we have one corner. So we have to hold it like this. Now let's do the five steps again. Step one, magic move. S step two, rotate the top layer twice. Step three, rotate the right layer forward. Step four, rotate the top layer twice again. Step five, rotate the right layer back. Now we have one corner again. So we're going to hold it like this. Let's do step one, magic move. Step two, rotate the top layer twice. Step three, rotate the right layer forward. Step four, Rotate the top layer twice again. Step five, rotate the right layer back. And then we have solved it. At the end of step 18, your cube should look like this. The white face should be complete, the bottom two layers should be solved, and the yellow face should be complete too. You may have different colors of what I've covered in black. That is what we're going to solve next. Step 19, four corners in top layer. The goal of this step is to align the four corners in the top layer. One, two, three, and four correctly. So in the end, this is how they'll look like. When you start the step, all the corners will be jumbled up. But you need to look for a pattern called headlight. Headlight looks like this. There should be two same colors in the ends so you need to keep looking around until you can find that pattern for example this is orange and this is red so that means they're not the same color so this is not a headlight keep looking and as you can see this is a headlight because there's blue on the sun and blue on the sun once you find the headlight you're good to go in a moment i'll explain what to do if you can't find a headlight like in this case 
first, I'm going to show you how to solve headlight like this. This is where things get a tiny bit complicated. This procedure takes nine steps. So follow along very carefully. Okay, so step one, you turn this right piece forward like this. Step two, you turn the back piece towards the right. Step three, you turn the right forward again. Step four, you turn the front piece forward two times. One and two. Then, step five, you turn the right backward once. Step six, you turn the back towards left, like that. Step seven, you turn the right forward, like that. Step eight, you turn the front two times, one, two. Step nine, you turn the right piece two times, one and two. Once you do these steps, you need to set it back because the headlights should be matching here. The blue over here, the orange over here, and the green over here. They should all be matching. Let me show you one more time. Remember, the headlights should be facing yourself. So step one, turn the right forward. Step two, back towards right. Step three, turn the right forward again. Step four, Turn the front piece two times. One, two, like this. Step five, turn the right backward. Step six, turn the back towards left. Step seven, turn the right forward. Step eight, turn the front two times. One, two. Step nine, turn the right two times. One and two. And remember, you need to turn back so the pieces match, like this. Now let me show you what you do if you can't find the headlights, like this. There are no headlights in this position. So I'm just going to do the same procedure of nine steps. And after the nine steps, the headlights will appear. Let me show you. So first you turn the right forward, then the back towards right. Then you turn the right forward again, and then you turn the front twice, and then you turn the right backward, and then you turn the back part towards the left, then you turn the right forward again, and then you turn the front two times, one, two, then you turn the right two times, one, and two. As you can see, now the headlights have appeared, so you can do the same procedure again. Right forward, back towards right, right forward again, front two times, right backward, back towards left, right forward again, front twice, and right twice. Just like this. Now remember, you need to turn. And that's how you do it. By the end of step 19, your cube should be looking like this. The white face should be complete, the yellow face should be complete, the two bottom layers should be done, and there should be headlights in every face. Step 20, finishing the cube, and our last and final step. The happiest step in the world. So let's do this. And in the end, your cube will look like this. In step 20, you have to keep rotating until you find the bar. The bar has all three colors in it, unlike these, which have a different color in the middle. I'm gonna tell you what to do if you can't find the bar in a moment. First, let's solve this cube. Remember, step 19 was finding headlights. This step is about finding the bar. Once you find the bar, remember you need to keep the bar at the back over here. And now follow the steps I'm explaining. So here, when bar is at the back, it's going to take 8 steps to solve this. So first, turn the right twice. Once and twice. Step 2. 
turn the top clockwise. So clockwise is like this. So I'm going to turn it once clockwise. Then you do the magic move. Next, you turn the right backwards. Step five, turn the top counterclockwise, like this. Step six, turn the right backwards. Step seven, turn the top clockwise. And step eight, turn the right backwards. If the cube is still not solved, you're going to repeat the same eight steps again. Let me show you. Step one, turn to the right twice. Step two, turn the top clockwise. Step three, do the magic move. Step four, turn the right backwards. Step five, turn the top counterclockwise. Step six, turn the right backwards. Step seven, turn the top clockwise. And finally, step eight, turn the right backwards. And then you solved it. Ta-da! And if you can't find the bar, just do the same eight steps starting from any phase. So first you do the right twice, then you turn the top clockwise, then you do the magic move, then you turn the right backward, then you turn the top counterclockwise. After that, you turn the right backwards and then do the top clockwise, then turn the right backwards. So now the bar has appeared over here and now you have to remember to put that on the back and then do the same eight steps again. Step one, turn the right twice. Step two, turn the top clockwise. Step three, do the magic move. Step four, turn the right backwards. Step five, turn the top counterclockwise. Step six, turn the right backwards. Step seven, turn the top clockwise. Step eight, turn the right backwards. And then you have solved it. Woohoo! I hope you followed along successfully and had a great time also solved your first Rubik's Cube. Now you can teach it to your friends and have lots of fun. If you want to solve more puzzles together, please subscribe to my channel and keep solving. Plus learning. Step number minus one. What, how to solve the cube. So you need to take all the pieces out in the cube and then correctly insert them in their places. Thank you.